At this point, let's go import our motion capture and then we will process our facial animation videos. Um, so I'll just create a new folder called mocap, import to current folder, select FBX animation. I'm gonna hit import animations, leave the skeleton blank and hit import all. So I can batch import Rococo uh, Studio animations into Unreal, it's really easy. And you can see, but look at our animation, looks, looks great. So we can now retarget this to our metahuman. But first, let's actually process our facial animation. So I've got this folder, metahuman anim. The first thing I'm gonna do, we go to tools, and type in live link because we want to open the live link hub. Here I am in live link hub. Instead of live data, I'm going to go to capture manager. Then I'll add device mono video ingest. So mono video is just 2D video. It's video with a single mono source, right? So any camera, essentially. That's different from an iPhone, which has two cameras actually pointed at you. Um, that's the true depth sensor in the iPhone are two cameras. So it's depth footage. This is just mono single camera footage. So I'll select mono video ingest, take directory. This is just going to be where we saved our videos to. I saved them to this folder and you can see these two are the videos that we just made. So I'll select both of them, add to queue, and then we will hit start. So this is just, a, you know, it's it may seem complicated in that there's a bunch of different windows and drop downs that we're touching, but this is the same process every time. And it's actually very simple and easy. That's all processed already, which is incredible because it allows us to then go to right click in our content browser, go to MetaHuman and jump right into a MetaHuman performance. And then we'll open up this tab and now we're going to go instead of depth footage, we want to go monocular uh, footage. And then we have our options, which have already been imported. So I'm going to select this first one. We can play through it. No nose hairs. Ha <laughs> ha I was prepared. Now we've got our video. I want under visualization mesh to have a face. So this is why I went ahead and already imported a metahuman before I started this process, because I like to preview my animation on a on the the metahuman that i'm going to be using head movement mode we don't want head movement and also because we have a mounted camera right here our head isn't moving relative to the image right our head stays in the exact same part of the frame um for the entire video because it's mounted the camera's mounted to our head so we can turn off head movement mode we don't need it at all um finally under advanced, there's this enable neutral pose calibration. So when I went and I did my sync point right here, pop. But then I also just did a neutral pose, which was me just looking at the camera. And it actually looks like I, was, I wasn't quite looking straight. So I might try and find another one. But let's use this. And you can see that under enable neutral pose calibration. It asks for a frame. So 318 is a neutral frame of my face. So I'll put this in 318. Sometimes you don't need to use the neutral pose calibration, I find, but let's use it. And then we'll just hit process. And this is, look at how fast it is. Pro look, it is processing at, I don't know if it tells us, but this is like two or three times real time, which is, compared to what it used to be, the fact that this is all done is incredible. It used to crash my computer, this, this processing process. Um, but that's it. We've got all of our facial motion capture. And, you know, depending on the experience that you've had with facial mocap, um, maybe this doesn't look super impressive, but compared to where we've been for the past many, many years, this is incredibly impressive. The fact that this is free, the fact that this works with 2D video. So again, it's great that we're using the head cam. If you don't have access to the head cam, you can use this with your webcam. You can use this with just, you know, a phone that you jury rig up to a bicycle helmet or something. It, it's, it's just so impressive. And you can see that we have, 
you know, everything that's being done here is being keyframed and recorded and is adjustable in post. We can go in and if, let's say we don't like something, we want to overemphasize, make his brows be more forward or his eyes be more squinched up. Like we can do all of that too. So part of the great thing about MetaHuman Animator monocular video ingest is the fact that we can use a flat 2D video, but it all pairs with the MetaHuman ecosystem, which is incredibly... Um, versatile and, and you have an incredible amount of exposure to how it works and how to adjust things. So this is just all a great system, not just because of the head cam, which allows you to record the mocap, right? Not just because of the metahumans, each of these alone wouldn't be as useful as all of them being so easy to use together is, if that makes sense. So it's just kind of, we just kind of reached this, this incredible point where you can get quality like this and it's just works reliably.